Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, we're going to make predictions with lines of fit. You, the student, will find lines of fit, and then we will use those lines of fit to solve problems. As we go through today's lesson, I want you to think about how you can use data to predict an event or forecast an outcome. So let's review what a line of fit is. Some teachers call it a best fit line. Some call it a trend line. They're all the same thing. It is a line that is drawn on a scatter plot close to most of the data points. So your goal is to take a straight edge and draw a line through the center of the data. And don't worry about going through two specific data points. Focus on your line and not your data as far as two specific points. And you want to try to have your trend line, your line of fit, go through and have as many data points above the line as below the line. So you want your line to look like it's snug, right fit right in the middle of all your data points. So all of these orange points are data points that were collected in the data. And these blue points are just points on the line. They're not part of the data. And I did this on purpose. They pass through specific ordered pairs on the coordinate plane, so I'm going to use those to write the equation of my line, even though they're not my data points. Okay, my students so often say, well, I can't use those, it wasn't in my data, but you can. So work on making the most specific, the most best fit line that you can make with a straight edge, and don't worry about passing through two specific points. So I have so many students that would want to pass through this point right here, and then their line isn't as good a trend line as it could be, okay? So you want to have the best fit. That's why it's called a line of fit. You want your line to fit in the middle of the data. Don't worry about passing through specific points. All right, so now I would like you to use these blue points and find the slope, identify the y-intercept, and write the equation of this line. You can even pretend that these points from the scatter plot aren't even there. Okay, go ahead and pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we are going to use the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. And you can I hope you found that the slope was one. You could have done rise over run, or you could have used seven minus one, which is six all over 6 minus 0, which is 6, and 6 over 6 is 1. Then identify the y-intercept. The line clearly passes through the y-axis at 1. So y equals a slope. Remember, that's an invisible 1. That's another video I have in my channel for you, the invisible 1 here. So you won't see me write the 1, but there is a 1 right there. So our slope is 1, and our y-intercept. y equals x plus 1. Okay. So now we're going to estimate with a line of fit, okay? Using the equation from our trend line, our line of fit, if this trend continued, if this trend continued, what would be the value of y when x is equal to 10? Go ahead and pause back and hit play when you're ready to check. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I caution my students here. Many of my students will come back and tell me, well, here we go. We have a data point that says 10, 10. That's not what it asked you. It didn't ask you from the data collected. It said, if the trend, this line, if this trend line continued, well, if this trend line continued and x was equal to 10, then y would be equal to 11, okay? Because our trend is going up like this, and when I get to 10, my trend line is going to be over here at 11 for the y-axis. So be careful and make sure that you understand if you're being asked to look at the data collected or at the trend. So your turn. Let's put this all together. So we've got a graph here of the depth of a river after monsoon season ends. So we can see this is zero months. So this is just as soon as the monsoon ends. And then here we go, nine months and something 10 months after. OK, I would like you to write the equation of the line of fit. I'll tell you right now, I used the points that were given in the graph to be sure I knew what I was using. I want you to interpret the slope. Remember, interpret means use words. You should be writing a sentence using the title and the units. So 
There's also a video on my channel reviewing how to interpret a point, okay? Interpret the y-intercept and then predict the depth in month nine. Remember, you're predicting. All right, hit play, pause and come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So we're going to go ahead and write the equation of the line of fit. So 10 minus 8 is 2, all over 5 minus 6, which is negative 1, giving me a negative 2 slope. Remember, our line is sloping down. There's a negative linear relationship here, so my slope should also be negative. And my y-intercept, where the line crosses the y-axis, is 20. So the equation of my line of fit is y equals negative 2x plus 20. To interpret this slope of negative 2, remember this is a rate. It's a ratio of feet over months. So what am I talking about? My river depth. The depth of the river decreases 2 feet each month. So that's just understanding that it's a ratio of the y over the x. Okay, let's interpret the y-intercept. So that y-intercept, knowing that that point is 0, 20, right? The river was 20 feet deep at the end of monsoon season. And then let's predict the depth in month 9. So I'm going to go back up here. X is my number of months. Replace X with 9. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. Add 20 and you get 2. So I can predict that in month nine, the depth of the river after nine months after the monsoon will be two feet deep. So that's how you use lines of fit to predict. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please come back for more.